Welcome to Daddy's Gallery. Today I will show you, horror movie title Cannibal Troll. I want to let you know if this video contains spoilers ahead, I suggest you to watch the film in its entirely. Have a nice day and enjoy. The film opens with a couple named Keely and Mike tied to a chair in fear in a house in the middle of the forest. Seen Mike trying to reach a knife nearby, then untied Keely. Both of them tried to escape from the house, followed by the sound of a terrible creature roaring from inside the house. Run! In the forest, Mike and Keely who had been running for days but had not yet found their way out of the forest. Hearing the sound of the creature still following them. Then the two of them arrived at a church with Mike shot by an arrow and told Keely to leave it. Just run! Then the creature killed Mike and Keely ran into the church but the door was closed by a priest who forbade her to enter. Keely was followed by that creature, knocked out. With two women, Casey and Ava, who are preparing to celebrate Casey's wedding holiday trip. In which Casey will be getting married. They are also with another friends named Lizzie, Yara, and Casey's mother named Emma, who also accompanied their vacation while in the forest. Back to her, Keely was strapped back in the chair. Then the creature cut off Mike's body in front of Keely to be eaten. <laughs> they arrived in front of the forest they were about to enter. Casey and Ava were walking around the place. They were surprised by the church building in the middle of the forest. Then they were shocked by the priest. Excuse me. Oh, I'm um, sorry, we, um, we didn't know this was a walking church. He told them not to walk towards the north because the forest is not a public area. But it's not very clear that something over there can only be killed with the sound of an organ. They didn't even hear the priest and continued to enter the forest. There, he watched them and did not listen to his advice. In the forest. They walked through the path to the north. It looks like they really enjoy the vacation trip. In the afternoon, they pitched the tent, Casey thought that what the priest said might be true if they had gone the wrong way. But another friend responded jokingly. It looks like Casey and Ava are awkward with each other because of their past. Where the two of them liked each other. At their camp, they enjoy nature by a bonfire and talk about their respective partners which accidentally makes Casey and Ava uncomfortable. Before going to bed, Casey told Ava to forget all the things they had done. It was a one-time thing. It isn't something to hold on to. If you want to go home tomorrow, I won't hold it against you. The next day, Casey's mother had made them breakfast. Yara also gave the idea to go to top of mountain where there are beautiful photo spots. Emma also told her to be careful considering Lizzie's pregnancy. In Creature's place, Keely managed to untie herself and escape from that place. They climbed to the top of the mountain. Seeing they are being observed from a distance by these creatures. In other place, Keely is still running to find a way out. They arrived at the top of the mountain with a beautiful view, a very wide forest. They also did not forget to take a photo together. Meanwhile Casey heard something behind the tree. While observing... While observing from a distance, she was distracted by Ava calling out to her. When going to the next place, Lizzie told that she was not coming and would return to her camp. In the church, the priest opened a book that explained the characteristics of a creature called a troll that eats human flesh. Lizzie who was still there, also heard a voice behind the bushes and decided to leave. She arrived at the camp where the creature followed and continued to observe her from a distance. On the way, they arrived at the creature's house and were amazed by the house in the middle of the forest. They also checked the house, but found no one. This made Emma uncomfortable with the place but they are still curious to enter the house. Inside the camp, Lizzie heard footsteps. She was also surprised by the arrival of the priest who scolded her for entering the forest. Where are your friends? I told you not to come into these woods! Suddenly, the creature immediately attacked him to death and then kidnapped Lizzie from inside of her tent. Inside the creature's house, they smelled a pungent stench because it was coming from a piece of meat. But they have not realized that the flesh is human flesh. While outside, Emma is shocked by the arrival of Keely, who tells her that she has not found her way out of the forest for days. When Keely asks them to run away, Yara is shot by an arrow by the creature and Emma is also shot in the leg. Yara! 
Yara at there, who has been dying, killed by the creature. In the forest, they run away. They also plan that the three of them head to camp, while Casey returns to the creature's house to retrieve the car keys that are still in Yara's pocket. The creature looked to observe the three of them. At the camp, they did not find Lizzie, the creature shot Emma and then attacked Ava and Keeley. But Emma distracts the creature and make her killed. They ran to the car, waiting for Casey. <laughs> Keely shared that she and her boyfriend had been held captive for weeks but that her boyfriend had died first. In the middle of the conversation, the troll pulled Keely from the car. When he was about to kill her, she begged not to be killed but to be made his slave. Ava attacking the creature seems in vain. Troll still kills Keely and then takes Ava to his place. Casey who had been at the house took the car keys in Yara's pocket, was surprised by the appearance of Lizzie who was still alive. When she was about to try to escape from the house, she saw that the troll was behind Casey. The women who were tied up in the dining room. Lizzie, who was having contractions, was forced to give birth in front of the troll. <coughs> then the troll took the baby and brought it into his room. Look at the death body of Yara being pulled in the kitchen. While Casey tried to untie the knot but in vain. There also, Ava apologizes for what happened to them. The troll wakes Lizzie up, then gives her his homemade food but she refuses to eat it. Casey I don't want it. I'm not fucking eating it. <laughs> Casey managed to untie the knot and then asked Ava to immediately run away from the place. They also ran away from the house and stopped in the middle of the road where Ava remembered priest's words that the troll can only be killed by the sound of organs. As they were about to the church, Ava was attacked by the troll but Casey hit him with a stick. <laughs> then they run towards the church. <laughs> Arriving at the church, Casey lures the creature into the church. While Ava waited for him inside. Seeing the creature came to Casey, then she trapped him into. When she rang the organ, it was seen that the creature screamed in pain and made him killed. They locked the creature in the church. Casey and Ava were very relieved. Finally they had gathered in the car, then Lizzie, her baby, Casey, and Ava left the place. And movie ends. Don't forget subscribe, like, comment and share.